God, what are you guys looking for? Coffee cups? No. No. Are are you guys on official business? Oh, traffic laws. Go move your car. It's Sunday at 9:20. Target closes at 10. 90 percent of the parking lot is empty. You don't have to talk to the man. The manager has nothing to do with you parking in a fire lane. It's in private property. How do you know that they're not in there for an emergency? Because I've already been in. You you have spandex on that don't match. Let's go. Let's go. Actually, it's a whole piece. Oh my! Oh oh my God! No. Me being a citizen makes me the highest ranking person. You can have an admiral. You can have a four-star general. They're all part of the government. So what I'm saying is. What 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 punishment do they get? If I get a monetary fine, if this if we're all going under uh, the guise of safety, right? We have to we can't park here because safety. We can't park there because of safety. What's their punishment? Hold on, real quick. Cue the music. I know I'm going to keep on saying fire lane, but that doesn't change anything. They're parked in front of an emergency exit. If uh, Russia people come out, that could be a problem. So like I said, this is Sunday, July 18th. Target's going to close in about 40 minutes. What goes through somebody's head when they pull into a parking lot and there are hundreds of spaces available, yet they park on the sidewalk right in front of two doors. They ticket us all day long for much less traffic and parking infractions. Make us pay money to teach us to be safe. I really want you guys to think about it and put yourself in their shoes. You're pulling in on your break to go look at items at a target and you decide to park there even though there are hundreds of spaces available. Is it a power thing? I can ticket you and do what you can't right in front of you? I really want to know, right in the comments section, what you think they were thinking. You guys looking for coffee cups? No. No. Are, are you guys on official business? 620 ILCS. Okay, you cannot park your car. You can't evade parking laws or traffic laws. Go move your car. What's your name, rank, and star number? It's private property. What's, I don't care if it's private property. What's your name, rank, and star number? And what's your partner's name? Okay, well get out of my way so I can go find the ask her. Hey, ma'am. Ma'am. Mama Popovsky. Hernandez. Uh, I don't Hernandez. Okay, don't park where you're not supposed to park. Park like everybody else. You're not special. Do you understand that? You're not special. Don't park in the fire lane. Don't park in front of the doors. Okay? Void of an emergency, you cannot evade traffic laws. Okay? okay? We'll talk to the manager. Don't worry about it. You don't have to talk to the manager. The manager has nothing to do with you parking in a fire lane. It's in private property. Oh, so fire lanes, so fire lanes are, are subject to uh, uh, target? I mean, Handicap spots are subject to target? Look, I understand you don't know what you're talking about. Go back, go back to Jackson, go back to uh, school. You have no idea what you're talking about. You should have just said, I apologize, I'm lazy, let me go move my car. Understand this, you're a patrol officer. I'm a citizen, which makes me the highest rank in It's next time. Cheerlead from the sidelines, but make sure I can hear you next time. I can't. You're not, not, not. When I once I call you out, it, it's over. I made sure the officers were not in the loss prevention uh, room taking care of something on duty. Uh, the reason I'm so ornery is I just got out of the hospital. I almost went into a coma. I found out I had to take um, insulin four times a day, and I just got these ridiculous tickets like uh, hanging a tree from your rearview mirror. Another ticket because uh, you didn't move your vehicle fast enough when the light turned green. Um, a three hundred dollar ticket because you don't have a sticker with a special stamp uh, from where your car is registered. At. So it was kind of the perfect storm, and I was upset. Look at all the parking spots here. Look at all the parking spots here, but because they're on break, they can park on the sidewalk. 
You got to be kidding me. Let me see what they got going on in here. So it says success uh, unit 2613 event. Uh, uh, come on. You're good. Come on, come on, come on, go. I want you to get away from the police car. I, I, I get that. Come on, go ahead. Okay, so let me explain something to you. This is a fire lane. Void of an emergency. You yes. cannot evade traffic law. How do you know that they're not in there for an emergency? Because I've already been in there. And they're so buying how coffee you know mugs that? and they said they're on break. How do you That's know how that? I know that because okay. they told What's me themselves. Name? What's your name? Don't ever put your finger in my face like that What's again. Your name? How she got so mad at this point that she took that Oscar Mayer wiener that's attached to her wrist with a pink knife that's soldered on to her nail and almost put it in my eyeball is beyond me. Don't oh. put your finger in my face like that. Okay. Can you read? No, I can't. I didn't think so. I that's can't. why you got I the can't. job you got. I apologize. Pay attention to high school next time. This lady wants to get involved so badly. I'm about to run circles around her so fast that all she can do is just repeat what I say. Now, I'm not going to jail. Uh, I promise you I'm not going to jail. Are you? Well, why, why are you wearing that outfit? Why, why are you wearing that outfit? This is a family program, and unfortunately this woman has a vile mouth. They say don't argue with stupid or crazy. You can't. They really believe they're being abducted by aliens. You can't argue that out of them. She's still going to show off some of that logic right now. They well, can park there. You know why? Because they're the police. You're dumb. Okay. They okay. cannot yeah. park yes, they there. Can. 720 yeah. ILCS. Who criminal code. It's, a, I, it's on the side of my hat. Do you see that? Disorderly. Oh, you're a YouTuber. He's a YouTuber. That's why he has No, I'm not a YouTuber, yeah. moron. Yeah. You're drunk too. Okay, I'm you drunk. Go now, I'm dr you now I'm drunk. Now I'm drunk. Now I'm drunk. You gotta leave, sir. You gotta leave. First of all, I don't drink. I don't. She, I think she just got stuck on that because she didn't know what else to say. She was embarrassed. And uh, second of all, uh, yes, I have a platform on YouTube. I have an audience on TikTok. I have an audience on roku the streaming service you you have spandex on that go. don't match let's go let's go actually it's a whole piece oh my oh oh my god no stop don't you ever do that don't you ever do that in public again oh my god don't you ever do that that's disgusting guys look away look away You'll have nightmares the rest of your life looking at that. Chicago City sticker, even if you park your car on the garage, not on the street, you still, if it's registered in Chicago, you have to have a, uh, a city sticker, even if you have a garage. So we're going to go in here and find out what Chav is. These, be, the, 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 this, this might get ugly. No need for the looks, guys. You could smile when I come in. I'm a citizen. I pay your salaries. You can get that out of my face. Uh, you I could keep it right here, and uh, you could walk away. What so, can, can I talk to the desk sergeant? Uh, okay, so what happened was, Chavez and Hernandez, I, I just went to um, Target, and... Uh, they were buying coffee mugs and they parked in the fire lane. There was a hundred different spots open. They parked actually on the sidewalk right in front of the doors that said fire lane. Now, if I did that, I would get a two, three hundred dollar ticket. Um, I believe it is the vehicle code 625 or is that the criminal code? Well, I mean, I don't want to wait all day, and I don't want to wait in the bullpen. Well, I'm asking you a simple question. Is 625 the vehicle code or the criminal code? 625? I'm going to look it up for you. Okay, 625 is the vehicle code. 720 ILCS is the criminal code. But I'm not going to wait here all night either.
Oh, here we go. My man showed up right in time. So, can I bend your ear for a minute? Yeah. Okay, so I, uh, in the last maybe two, three weeks, I got a $300 ticket for um, not having a city sticker, even though I parked my car in the garage. Do you, do you know who issued the parking ticket? And that, 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 that's, that has nothing to do with it. Um, then I got a, 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 a seatbelt ticket, right? While driving or? Uh, yeah. Was it on a parking you, ticket or was it on a moving violation where you got a court date? Uh, well, I chose the court date to fight. But it was on a parking ticket, right? It wasn't like you already had a court date on there? No, no, it wasn't a parking ticket. It was a moving violation. Well, seatbelt could be written on a parking ticket or on a moving violation where you'd have the court date. Like, oh, okay, yeah. What did the ticket it, it, look it, like? It, it was, was it, 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 like it, long like this? Or it like was that? an optimal court date. I chose so the court date. So then it was a traffic date. Okay. Yeah. So, anyways, I just went to Target right now, and Hernandez, and I believe her partner is Chavez, uh, there's about, it's 9 o'clock at night, I believe, right now, on a Sunday. The targeted brickyard has, I mean, 90% of the, 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 the things are open. They parked right in front, on, they parked on the sidewalk, blocking the fire exit. Now, I thought maybe somebody might be shoplifting. So I did my due diligence. <clears throat> I did my due diligence, and I went around the store. And I found that they were uh, buying coffee mugs. So what and, were their names? Uh, Chavez mm -hmm. and Hernandez. I could give you this. Male officer, female? You got two female numbers? officers. I give you the star number as soon as I'm done. Mm -hmm. We're done here. Um, so. So it's a target of Brickyard, right? Yeah. So a 625 ILCS, I believe, is the vehicle code? Or is that the criminal code? What time code? was that at? It was only 10 minutes ago. I came straight from here. So is ILCS 2625 the vehicle code or the criminal code? Well, the vehicle code also falls under the criminal code. Well, there's seven tw yeah. 720s of criminal code, I believe, and 625 is the vehicle. Well, I might have it backwards. Anyways, the, the fact of the matter is that they said, well, we're on private property. Okay, well, I don't care if you're on private property. Target does not, uh, Target does not govern um, handicap spots. Do you have a picture of the? Yeah, I got it all. They they don't cover handicap spots. They don't cover um, uh, the, the fire things, right? So if I'm a citizen, right? They're patrol officers. You're me. Me being a citizen makes me the highest ranking person on any scene. Your job is to service us. Right? Mm -hmm. So I'm the highest ranking person on any scene. You can have an admiral, you can have a four star general, they're all part of the government. So what I'm saying is what 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 punishment do they get? If I get a monetary fine, if this if we're all going under uh the guise of safety, right? We have to we can't park here because safety. We can't park there because of safety. How many people would have died if there was a fire there? Maybe none? Maybe seventy. So what, what, what's their punishment if I don't go to COPA and file an affidavit against them? Well, you could file a complaint. I don't want to file a complaint. I don't want to go to IA. I don't want to go to COPA. I don't want to do any of those things because now I've become them. Now I'm the hall monitor. Oh, uh, give us $300 because you don't have the sticker in the window with our special stamp. And then give us $167 so you get the sticker with the special stamp. Here's a ticket because you didn't go through that green light quick enough. Here's a ticket because you went through that red light. Here's a ticket because you have a tree hanging from your mirror. I got two tickets that were just ridiculous tickets that you're going to laugh at. Uh, and this uh, history repeats itself if you watch that uh, teaser. I'll put the video from that traffic stop probably out this weekend. We're sick of being bled dry. We're sick of gas being almost the highest in the nation. Property tax is ridiculous. Cigarettes, $16 a pack. It Just everything keeps going up and up and up. And then when you turn around, the people that are giving you these tickets on top of all these other taxes are doing whatever they want.
They're parking in the same manner in which they just gave you a $300 ticket for and laughing all the way while they do it. It's enraging. I just found out that uh, there's something in my genes that's passed down that's hereditary um, in which uh, I started getting sick and they didn't know what it was. They found out, we found out what it was, thank God. And it's easy to control as long as you eat right and take your medicine. But uh, they didn't send me home from the I, hospital. I mean, I know I can, but how, how much, how, what, what reach do you have? I could, if you want to file a complaint right now, I could get a log number for you that'll get forwarded to COPA. No, I could, I no, 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 I could go to COPA. I know yeah. you don't. I, know. I could go to COPA myself. I'm not on scene, so. Lastly, I probably used the wrong term when I said scene. I just meant that uh, a citizen, uh, without breaking the law, a uh, public servant is obviously beholden to them. The government's job is to uh, service the citizens, right? We came together, uh, pooled our money together in taxes, and uh, paid for things that are essential to our basic needs, school, water, police, firefighters. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that a citizen could go onto a scene and start giving orders. Or, that's ridiculous, obviously. Anyways, uh, my name is Saudi Project News, wishing you and yours a very safe and happy weekend. Good night!